Hi there, I'm Ann Warburton. I'm a fiber artist and I'm here with my good friend Kirsten Peters who's a visual artist as well and we're going to talk to you today about creating in groups. So um, Kirsten, tell me a little bit about you and what groups you are in. Well I have um, a couple of groups I belong to. The biggest group is the Plan L Ensemble which is a group of artists from the Ottawa region. Mm -hmm. uh, for the longest time we always went to Quebec because there are other groups in the region that went to Ontario but now we figured uh, Ontario is big and our members are getting older so going on a seven hour trip to spend a weekend of painting is a long ride. So we usually stay here and the group has uh, I think more than 50 people right now, wow. but when we go painting, it's between 14 to 20, mm. so, uh, which is quite reasonable. And how many nights would you normally be away? Four nights. Wow, that's Four an nights. amazing trip. Yes. yes. And uh, we don't paint together. Okay. Usually it's always small groups of artists that paint together okay. and go to different locations, and then at night we all eat together. And uh, we talk about, oh, what did you see, where's a good spot, sometimes we are lucky, we have an artist from the region who says, you know what, you should go there, this is an amazing mm -hmm. spot. But usually, it's always so, three to, to five people who go to a certain spot. Mm -hmm. There are some artists who like to be by themselves, and that's fine too, but uh, I like to be in a small group, I feel more secure. <laughs> Yes, I could understand that. <laughs> and especially if you don't know the region, you right. don't know what to expect, so it's, it, it's a safe... Plus, I find it's fun. You get to talk, sometimes you don't see your other friends, artist friends for a month, and you have mm -hmm. to catch up, so it's great. Right. And I find it so exciting. I usually go with two friends of mine. If you look later on at the art and say, oh, look, this is... You got it focused there, and I focused there, and you have the big panorama. Oh, that's it's so great. And then that would also give you an opportunity to get feedback, or maybe mm. get new ideas from them, see different ways of doing, um, of doing some of the works. Yeah, absolutely. And at the end of every trip, we have a show and tell. Oh, where right. Everyone puts out their pieces, and we have artists of different mediums. We have watercolor artists, we have acrylic artists. We have some pastel artists and we have oil painting artists. So good variety. Good variety and it's fantastic to see how everyone sees nature with different eyes. And that's what I like the plein air ensemble too. Some people say I'm crazy, you're going out when it's freezing cold. But still to be in nature and to to just be immersed in the sounds and mm -hmm. the smells, it's just fantastic. And I'm always amazed at if you're if everybody is doing the same picture, say a barn or a tree, at all the different interpretations and how different every picture comes out every time. It's just it just floors me. It's so wonderful. Um, are there any other groups that you're a part of? Well, I have a group of friends where we go more regularly because the Plan A Ensemble has only two trips a year, mm -hmm. one in the spring and one in the fall. And this group of people gets more complicated because we all have busy life, but we try to stay in the area. So all around Ottawa, there's enough to see. Right. And in the different seasons, it's just great. And you feel more secure when you're with a group. Plus, if you already mentioned it, if you get stuck, you can say, you know what, something's wrong here. I don't see this. And the next person will say, yeah, well, easy the, the roof is tipped the other way then you have it and you change that and it's like you were absolutely right that's exactly what it was 